The chronovisor worked by receiving, decoding and reproducing the electromagnetic radiation left behind from events. Along with the visuals, it could also pick up the audio component or sound waves. It sounded like science fiction. But German physicist Ernst Zinkowski met with and discussed the chronovisor with its inventor, Catholic priest Father Pellegrino Ernetti. Normal physics which we are taught in the universities or in the institutes in which is used in technical applications is not sufficient to explain these phenomena. It comes to psychophysics and it comes to consciousness uh, research. The chronovisor, according to the reports, uh, was not only able to trace things back from the past, but he was even able to tell about things in the present and even from the future. So this is a completely dangerous thing you can do with that machine very, very yeah, bad things, I would say. What we call time is nothing real. Time is something which is psychic. And everybody lives in his own time. And it's only a possibility to order things in a sequence. But really, there is no time. He told me that, and it was in the literature, that uh, they were able to, from a screen, from a video screen, to get it uh, uh, by a camera uh, documented. And this was then uh, presented to the Pope and the other Italian high brush. The Vatican seized it to prevent any harmful, or maybe it's still working. I don't know. You know, I studied experimental physics and I am not a theoretical physicist. And I do not believe in theory. I only believe in what, what I have at my hands, on my table, you see? Like an engineer. And it is not astonishing that a lot of people which are dealing with these problems are not physicists but engineers. The theory is far away, but the practical experiments are binding. There was a speech of Professor Zeilinger from Vienna in Mainz, and I attended it. And he is working in quantum physics and quantum teleportation. And he told the audience, well, we do not understand what we are doing, but we do it. Basically, it's quite simple. The difficulty is that we invented during the last two or three hundred years a system which excloses all these things. And now we are trying to get it back and to find a way which surpasses normal classical physics. It started with Einstein, with the speed of light, and now it surpasses the speed of light even that. And it it's, uh, questions the whole system in which we are living during our lifetime here. We have a completely wrong image or picture of our world. And this has to be changed. And I think these events, like for instance, the Kronovisor and other events of similar quality, they are all uh, thought from a higher plan to change our ideas and to ch change our picture of what we call the world.